You are late on your mortgage payment. Oh no, what should I do? We'll discuss that coming right up. Hello, I'm Carla. And I'm Victor. And we're with the Zuri Group of Allstate Real Estate. We're a real estate agents here in Austin, Texas. And although we're in Austin, Texas, what we're going to talk about today pertains to everybody in the whole nation. Experts agree that although there won't be a large scale foreclosure crisis like there was in 2008 and 2009, there's still people that may have that situation coming up. While the overall percentage of homeowners facing this crisis is, going, is slowing down, it is not very comforting for those people that are facing this challenge. As you can see on this chart, the percentage of mortgages and, and forbearance is decreasing. If these types of hardships apply to you and you haven't taken advantage of the forbearance period, it may be time to research some options. There are definitely options available to all homeowners. And it starts with knowing what foreclosure is. Investopedia says foreclosures is the legal process by which a lender attempts to recover the amount owed on a defaulted loan by taking ownership of and selling the mortgage property. Typically, default is triggered when a borrower misses a specific number of monthly payments. Here's the good news though. There's definitely some options available for you to avoid foreclosure. A mortgage reinstatement, also called by lenders, loan reinstatement is the process of restoring your mortgage after a mortgage default. And you do this by paying down your amount due that you're past due on your mortgage. You will arrive at the point of mortgage default after missing several payments. Once your mortgage is in default, your lender has the right to start the foreclosure process. However, federal law requires uh, mortgage lenders to wait 120 days before they start that process. Basically, with a mortgage reinstatement, you're catching up with all your late payments and fees all at once. Once you're caught up, the default mortgage will receive a clean slate. And at that point, you continue making your regular monthly payments like you always have before the situation happens. And you'll just continue that to the end of your loan term. The next step is loan modification. A loan modification is a change made to the terms of your current loan by the lender. A loan modification may involve a reduction in interest rate, a lengthening of the time to repay back your whole mortgage loan, or a different type of loan, or a combination of the three. Usually, these types of changes can be made by a lender when a borrower is unable to repay the loan but can pay it back in some sort of form. Some loan modifications are even negotiated by attorneys or settlement companies. Some borrowers may even be eligible for government assistance through a modification. This is basically an arrangement where you basically give the deed of your mortgage back to the bank. Yes, and this is done to avoid the actual foreclosure process. The unfortunate thing about a foreclosure is that it could show up on your credit report and that may hurt you from being able to buy a home in the future. A deed in lieu of foreclosure could be very beneficial and help you avoid a foreclosure on your credit. When you hand over the deed, the lender basically releases the lien on the property. This allows the lender to recoup some of the losses without forcing you into a foreclosure. And when you turn over the deed, the lender releases you from anything you owe on the property. Many homeowners have chosen this option in the past when their home has been underwater. Meaning that they owe more on the home than the home's actually worth. Another option we'll talk about is the short sale option. What is a short sale? A short sale is also known as a pre-foreclosure sale. This is basically when you sell your home for less than what you actually owe on the mortgage. However, your mortgage servicer does have to agree to a short sale. You basically agree to sell your home while just paying a portion of what you actually owe on the mortgage. Depending on your situation, you may be required to come up with some balance at closing for that sale. Once the short sale is completed, you may be relieved of having to repay back any of what's owed on the, on the mortgage. This is called the deficiency waiver. So make sure you get one if you're doing a short sale. A short sale is an alternative to foreclosure and may be the option if you are ineligible to refinance or modify your mortgage, are facing a long-term hardship, are behind on your mortgage payments, Oh, more than your home's worth. Haven't been able to sell your home at a price that covers what you still owe on your mortgage. Can no longer afford your home and are ready or need to leave. We'll talk about yet another option, which is sell your home outright. So before you go down the path of seeing if you even need to be on those other items that we express, it's worth to check in to see if you have the equity to cover your full mortgage 
and try to sell first. In today's real estate market, many homeowners have a lot more equity than they thought they would ever have actually by this time. Equity is the difference between what you owe and what the home can sell for in the market. Over the last year, uh, housing demand has been really high, but the supply of homes has been really low. For homeowners, that has increased their equity, and so they have more equity than they ever have in the past. According to CoreLogic, on average, homeowners across the country have gained about 33400 in equity over the last 12 months. So what does that mean for you? Over the past year, chances are that your home value has increased, therefore your equity has increased dramatically. Furthermore, if you've been in your home for a while, those mortgage payments have been chipping away and therefore increasing your home value, or your equity rather. If your home's current value is higher than what you owe on your mortgage, you may be able Able to use that increase to your advantage. Frank Martel, President and CEO of CoreLogic, elaborates on how equity can help. Homeowner equity has more than doubled over the past decade and become a crucial buffer for many weathering the challenges of the pandemic. These gains have become an important financial tool and boost the consumer confidence in the U.S. housing market. To find out what your home is worth in your market, talk to a local realtor. If you don't know anybody in your local area, feel free to reach out to us as we know many agents across the country. We specifically we typically know agents that work with these situations because, you know, we used to work on the mortgage servicing side when we know quite a bit about foreclosures and yeah. REOs and all that world. If you find out that you have to pursue some of the other options we mentioned, then your agent can also help you with that. They'll be able to connect with other professionals in the industry like housing counselors, for example. If you're facing hardships and live in the United States and you know you have some equity in your home, well, then a real estate agent can really help. Let us know and we can connect you with a professional in your area. A good way to connect with us if you need to is uh, there should be a link in the description below. Just fill out the form and maybe send us a note of what help you're needing and we'll try to do the best to help. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Like the video, comment on the video if you have other thoughts on how people can avoid foreclosure. Thanks for watching. Bye.